All right, there's some confusion about return loss bridges, so uh, uh, I have this little cheapy one here. I think I have another one too. Uh, maybe I'll find it later in the video. Um, so you can measure the uh, return of an antenna using a coupler. Uh, any return power coming back from the antenna will go into this coupled port. You can measure it that way. And uh, I've showed some videos of me, uh, me, me doing it that way. Um, but this is a, a bridge way of doing it. And so there's some nice literature out there and stuff. You go to the ARRL handbook, or this is a nice uh, thing I found on how to, how to build a return loss bridge. And um, one of the problems with these things is they, they show you a schematic. Let me, yeah. So they show you a schematic and uh, then they say, here it is. And it's not intuitive why, why that it does anything <laughs> and how it does anything. So let me, let me describe to you what a, what a return loss bridge really is. First thing is the concept of a bridge. Uh, so this is a bridge. So if you bring in power and it's 50 ohm, 50 ohm, 50 ohm, 50 ohm, this is a balanced bridge. And uh, if you had three resistors of known value and the, this one, you weren't quite sure if it was 50 or not, the bridge would either be balanced or not. And a lot of times you measure the voltage or current across the center of the bridge, okay? So that, that's, that's a bridge circuit, right? And um, if you build uh, something like this, then uh, you have a bridge that's open, and if you connect an antenna, it looks like a 50 ohm load to ground. So the, the, the part of the bridge here is replaced on the outside. So, so that only shows part of the bridge, but actually the, the fourth resistor is over here. So, so, so as we go on, remember that, that the fourth resistor doesn't have to be here. It can be someplace else. Okay. So uh, the next thing is, uh, let's see, what's a good... What's a good picture to show next? This one. Okay, so what if we built a bridge like this? We have 50 ohms and then we have this funny little transformer here. Bring it in here, bring it in here, the same number of winds, so everything is balanced. This side is balanced, that side is balanced. Uh, there's really nothing going on. Uh, anything happens inside the transformer is happening equally. That's just a balanced thing, okay? And if, if uh, let's say, Let's say this is the um, the resistor that we're not sure if it's 50 or not, then this can become unbalanced. And if it comes unbalanced, then the signal through the, uh, um, if, if, if somehow we could put in a meter here and we could measure things in that leg there, then we could see if this thing was unbalanced. It's kind of a funny thing to do. Um, if you've ever looked at antennas, there's uh, balanced lines and unbalanced lines, and they, things, they use things called balans to like make measurements of, or convert balanced things to unbalanced things. Well, when you measure this thing, it's unbalanced, but you want it in a balanced circuit. So you can think of this as a balance. You can think of it as a bridge with a balance inside. And we want to measure any current, any, any monitor the current, in the ballon, and if it varies, we'd like to know. And if it varies, then it's probably this resistor varying, right? If that's the only thing that's changing in the circuit. So that's basically the bridge, okay? So it's hard to put your little thing in his, inside here, so you bring it on the outside. So you cut this wire, and instead of going to ground, you bring it out here, and then you get to put some measurement equipment on the outside. And uh, so that's, that's, uh, the way that we're going to measure this, okay? Now, we also need to bring this resistor to the outside, so we end up with something that looks like this, all right? So we have ha uh, three quarters of the, of the, uh, the, the, uh, the bridge here, and then we have this little ballon in here, and we bring those two things out. So we label this one in, and we label this one out, and then we label this one test or something, right? And so that's the way that's the way we're going to do it. Sometimes this is labeled out as well, and sometimes this is labeled dot device under test. So you'll see it labeled different. You'll see it labeled different ways. But that is what it is. But then they draw it like this. <laughs> so it's the same. Is that all in this? It's all on the same picture. Yeah. 
it's the same thing, right? Here's the two resistors, here's the third resistor, here's the little thing, and then here's the... So they draw it like this. And that's very, very confusing if you hadn't seen all those other drawings. So anyway, that's what, that's what a return loss balance does. And it's going to have a place that you can monitor the bridge. And if the bridge varies, you can see the variation. And the bridge will vary when it becomes unbalanced. So, so uh, whether it goes high and um, greater than 50 ohms or less than 50 ohms, you'll, you'll see that effect here on, on the port. Okay. So this particular one is a real cheap Chinese one. So it has an input port. I don't think it was even labeled. I think I had to figure that out. It has an input port. So you put your RF generator into the end. Oh, another thing is don't hook this up to your radio. They, they're very low uh, power levels only, you know, mill milliwatt range. So you bring your generator into the in, um, and you connect the other side to a spectrum analyzer or something onto the out, if you're sweeping. And then uh, the device under test will be over here. Okay, so your antenna will go here on the dot. So the other resistor here, the one that balances against the, the uh, uh, antenna, on this one is actually a little 50 ohm load that they screwed into the end. I don't know why, but you could unscrew this and put a 75 ohm there. And yeah, you could do other things with this thing. Um, but this one has an external 50 ohms. And these are really cheap on eBay. So let's, uh, let's uh, give them a try. Okay, so the first measurement we're going to make is with a uh, coupler. We're going to bring the RF generator into the out. We're going to put the antenna on the in, and we're going to hook up the uh, spectrum analyzer to the coupled port. Right? And then this is the picture that we get. And you can see that we have a dip. It's uh, sweeping, I think it's centered at uh, 145 and megahertz, and we're sweeping a, a 2 meter J pole antenna. So we see a dip around 107, 145, 145 megahertz. We see a dip. All right? Now, the next one we're going to do is with this. We're going to hook up the RF generator to the in. We're going to hook up the antenna to the out. And we're going to hook up the spectrum analyzer to the dot. And we're going to sweep that. And same setup. And we see we get a dip at 145 megahertz. 